everyone, my name is Kate and I'm here with a how to style your dresses for fall video. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do this and this is just a really fun thing for me to do personally. This is how I style my dresses because I love dre wearing dresses so much but I live in Canada where it gets freezing freezing cold so I try to wear my dresses as long as possible. So um, without further ado, here are the looks. Vests are my new favorite layering piece. They are a new trend this year and you usually see them styled with a button down shirt, but I love how they pair with dresses. This is a long sleeved light cotton dress from Christy Dawn and now it works for the colder weather with this warm vest. This alpaca blend vest is from Marquette and comes in two other neutral colors. It's very soft and warm and I wear it nonstop. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the dozens of outfits I've made with this knit. This vest and all other items are linked in the description box below. This is one of my favorite outfits right now. This dress is a very busy pattern and by pairing it with a vest instead of a sweater, you're still able to see the beautiful sleeve which creates balance. I love pairing puffy sleeve blouses and dresses with this vest. I would love to highlight this piece from C New York. This is me in a dress. The mix of florals are beautiful and a light long sleeve midi dress is super versatile for fall and spring. Sweaters with dresses are a classic combo. It takes a little trial and error to get the proportions right with new knits, older dresses with different hemlines and shoes, but I encourage you to take the time to try on your existing sweaters with your dresses. You might be surprised at what works and it's good to have some prepared outfits for busy mornings. This graphic sweater and floral dress share all the same color so I pair them together to make an interesting outfit. I love finding new ways to mix prints and wear my favorite summer dresses into fall. If we take a closer look at this pretty floral tea dress from Oak Meadow, we can get a good idea of what to style it with. When shopping for a knit to wear with a pattern dress, you can pull from any one of the colors on the garment to pair with a sweater, vest, or cardigan. Pink, cream, orange, blue, green, and red knits would all work well, including a graphic sweater that contains all of these colors like this sweater from C New York. This is another outfit option. The dress is in neutral color but has a more voluminous skirt and that balances out the drama on the sweater. Another trick for pairing dresses with a knit is to find a sweater that mimics the sleeve the dress already has. This dress from a Bronze Age has a puff sleeve so a sweater with a dramatic sleeve mirrors the silhouette. I'm 5'3 and this is a lot of volume for my height so I added a small heeled boot to help with proportion. This is a different way to style a sweater with a dress. I looked to the dress for color inspiration once again and tried it with this slightly oversized longer green sweater that pairs perfectly. I got this sweater from Cezanne last year and this dress is from Doan's late summer line this year so it was so nice to find a new way to wear each item. What's really lovely is the wide neck of the sweater allows the high neckline of the dress to show through which creates balance. This look has a longer proportion and more fabric than the previous outfit so I decided to show more of my leg and foot by pairing it with a Mary Jane style shoe and wearing a necklace which creates a long line over the knit. Layering underneath your dresses is another viable option to wear them into winter and allows your favorite dresses to remain the star of the outfit. This is the Violetta dress from Doan we just saw but this time it's paired with a turtleneck from Uniqlo's Heat Tech Collection which I'm a big fan of for keeping me warm through our very cold Canadian winters. Again we create balance by showing the top of the turtleneck which peaks above the busy floral dress. This is the Oak Meadow Rosamond Tea Dress again and we have it paired with a pretty floral top this time. When pairing florals again it's useful to try on what you have to see what works but what I love about these two pieces together is they share similar colors but have a different style of floral. The top has small flowers spaced apart and the dress has a busy all over pattern and this creates harmony by allowing there to be a focal point which is the dress. Otherwise you can have two busy florals that compete for attention and ultimately overwhelm the eye. Speaking of busy patterns, this is a large gingham printed dress also from Doan's late summer line. This dress was advertised for warm weather but I saw the styling potential with the apron style neckline. I think it's possible to pair this dress with a very subtle pattern but you have to make sure it doesn't compete with this very eye catching print. I love this simple white t-shirt paired underneath which helps it not overwhelm my 5'3 frame. Having this dress shorter will also create a better proportion for my shorter height. This cardigan was a bit of a risky purchase for me because it doesn't follow the color palette of my wardrobe of soft pinks, blues, and neutrals, but I was so happy to discover the many dresses that it goes with, including this floral dress from Doan that I wore all summer long. It is a brown, small, organic printed dress that doesn't compete with the large, busy graphic pattern of the cardigan, which is also from Doan. After trying on this cardigan with multiple dresses, I prefer it with a short or midi skirt length because of its long sleeves, dark color, and looser style are overwhelming when paired with a maxi dress. 
This is the Hue Cardigan from Doen, and oh my, it is so soft. This is my first Farrah Isle sweater, and I'm happy to add this classic graphic to my wardrobe. If we look at the colors, the cardigan is black, cream, orange, and royal blue, which gives it a retro vibe. Here it is, paired with my bronze age dress, which highlights the orange tones in both pieces. And again, the busy graphic on top is balanced by the fuller midi skirt. The puffy sleeves of the dress are welcomed by the full sleeves on the cardigan, which makes it comfortable to wear. The sweater also will pair well with empire waisted dresses as you can see the bottom of the graphic creates harmony when it meets the higher waistline. And here is one of my favorite knits from last year paired with a silk dress from the spring. If you are looking for a cardigan or sweater that goes with the majority of your closet, pull out your favorite summer pieces that you want to wear now into colder weather to find a common color. Red is splashed throughout the majority of my floral dresses so a red cardigan is the perfect color for my wardrobe. I also love the juxtaposition of the two fabrics, a light silk and cozy thick knit which creates a soothing tactile experience. Be sure to play around with buttons, undoing them, and trying out different combos, which can make a difference with proportion. And that's my video. I really hope that was useful for you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and I hope that you can really get more use out of your dresses as we enter into the colder seasons. If you don't have any of these similar items, I have everything linked below along with some alternatives. I try my best to find something that is really similar. Um, and that's it. Enjoy your day and I will see you next time.